He will talk about something that afflicted him recently. Please welcome Marvin Correa with his speech titled, Don't Touch Me. into contact with this break out unauspiciously I was one of the 85% I was gone for three weeks two of those weeks we were on vacation in Austin and Texas or Houston we enjoyed our time there seeing family we haven't seen in years. But on our first stop in Austin, we decided to go to the zoo. And on this particular zoo trip, enjoying the sights and outdoors, of course. I don't know what happened. Maybe it was when we were petting the llamas or feeding the little pigs. But something rubbed on me. Now, given the time of year, maybe some of you can imagine what it was. But I'll tell you a couple of more facts about it. Another fact is that, that this substance called Urishol stays on equipment or clothing for at, up to five years. Oh, wow. That means that it could be on gardening equipment, on book bags, on your hands, on, on your shoes, on many different things. And unluckily for me, this is the second time in as many years that this has afflicted me. So we were walking around again. I don't know where I touch the magic poison <laughs> ivy, but I did touch it. And one of the things that I realize now, after I've researched a bit more, is I didn't realize I had it for a number of hours until I actually started seeing things pop up. I, not, I will spare you the pictures that I took, especially since many of you are eating breakfast. Thank you. <laughs> but I broke out. I had rashes all over you see the remnants there a little bit of what i had before a couple of weeks ago I had blisters on both sides and it was because i didn't wash off within two to eight hours was is the ideal but actually ideally you should wash it off within minutes i didn't realize i had it though that was the problem it was probably until later that evening many hours, probably at least eight hours after that I did my daily run and took a shower. And even then I come to realize I might not have washed it properly. And that's why it was, it spread a little bit because I still had it either. It could be like it's car grease oil. So if you don't get it from under your fingernails or any little bits, you might touch yourself and I had a slightly on behind my ears, on parts of my leg. Not fun if you've ever had poison ivy. But I, as I discovered this, I went on a fact finding mission. How can I naturally remove this? So there's several things that I tried. I tried going into Luckily, my parents have a, a jacuzzi in their bathroom. I went over there with Epsom salt, went into the jacuzzi. I don't know if it worked, but it felt good. <laughs> I had been in a jacuzzi in a long time and having the jet power around me, that was, it was very relaxing, very refreshing and just numbing out the world. Like I said, I don't know if it helped, but 
very enjoyable and very peaceful and highly recommended. Another thing is I found out about was witch hazel. Witch hazel is supposed to dry out uh, anything that may be itchy. So for example, I, I put witch hazel, it was like putting water on there. I did not feel anything at all. So I was like, okay, next. <laughs> Something that worked for me last time, I, we went to the beach because seawater or salt water is supposed to help you. And something that I did last time was I rubbed salt, a mixture of salt and water on my arms to get rid of it. That didn't work. So we went to the beach here in Daytona and that actually alleviated it. We did that. Luckily there's a beach not too far away in Freeport, Texas. And we went to the beach there. I got a nice picture. It was covered completely in sand. And I think that helped a bit, but it didn't do the trick. I still had the itchiness. My daughters would see this and it's like, I don't know how you can survive that. I would, they saw the blisters and I say, I would take a knife and just start scraping oh. it. I was like, that would feel maybe temporary uh, relief, but then the after effects of that, I was like, nah, I'm not gonna. I'm not going to mess with it as much as it is. I'm not going to scratch. But then I decided to go the chemical route. We went to a local pharmacy and found this one called Iverest. Iverest in Walgreens, there was the Iverest, which was like eight bucks, and some other Zanfell, which is like 30 something. But I was like, I'm gonna go with everywhere, six, eight bucks, and let's try it and see. So I did. It looks like calamine lotion, but with a mixture of other things that help. And I, as soon as I put that on, I felt relief. Like, yes. It didn't look pretty. It's like calamine lotion, the pink calamine lotion that goes all over. If, I'm sure you've seen that in the past. And, but it did, I didn't care. It, the blisters looked bad enough. So I was like, ah, I spread it all over and finally relief. <laughs> this past week is when I really saw relief and gladly for you guys, you know, <laughs> <laughs> big old blisters. The, the point of my speech is that you know, research your, what ails you and then try to find a solution. I found, I tried several different things. It didn't work until I finally got it. And speaking of which, maybe I need to check my backpack. I need to wash that out. Speaking of, I need to go.